what you're trying to say is that you fell here from another world? But when you wanted to leave and go on to the next world, your path was blocked by some unknown god? Outlanders, your journey ends here. Who are you? The sustainer of heavenly principles. The irrigation of mankind ends now. Just like that, a god took away my sister. Some kind of seal was cast upon me, and I lost my power. So while we used to travel from world to world, we are now trapped here. How many years ago was it? I don't know, but I intend to find out. When I woke, I was all alone, until I met you two months ago. Yeah, Paimon really owes you for that. Otherwise, Paimon likely would have drowned. So Paimon will do her best to be a great guy. We should head off. Let's get going.
Depletes stamina and depleted stamina takes time to recover. Okay, let's take the route we planned. We're off to a statue of the seven. Which of the seven are you looking for exactly? Statue of the Seven! There are a few of these statues scattered across the land to show the Seven's protection over the world. Among the Seven Gods, this God controls the wind. Paimon's not sure whether the God you're looking for is the Animal God, but... Paimon will take you to the Animal God's place first, and there's a reason why. As we all know, poetry and language flow like the wind. There'll definitely be someone there who knows about your sister. At least that's what Paimon thinks. Whether the gods actually answer you is a different story. You never know unless you try. So let's hop to it!
Ore. Did you just feel the elements of the world? Seems all you had to do was just touch the statue and you got the power of animal. As much as they may want it, people in this world can never get a hold of powers as easily as you. Uh-huh. It's because you're not from this world to begin with. If we keep heading west from here, we'll eventually reach Mondstadt, the City of Freedom. Mondstadt is the City of Wind because they worship the God of Animal. So perhaps, because you got power from the God of Animal, you can find some clues there. There are also lots of bards there, so perhaps one of them has heard news of your sister. Let's move then! The elements in this world responded to your prayers, and Paimon thinks that's a lovely sign. you got from the Statue of the Seven. Oh, Paimon's so jealous. Why doesn't Paimon get cool fighting powers?
I'll keep this close. Wow! Who is that? There's something huge in the sky! It's headed towards the heart of the forest! We must... A reward on the road. Don't be afraid. It's all right now. I'm back. Is he talking to a dragon? of your hair. Thanks. Just what was that? Paimon thought we were gonna get eaten. Hmm. It definitely has something to do with that weirdo who was talking to the dragon. Yeah. Paimon gets why you're worried. Oh. What's that? There's some kind of shiny red thingy on the big rock over there. Let's go take a closer look. Be careful. Paimon doesn't have a good feeling about this. Paimon's never seen a stone like this before, so Paimon can't tell what it is. 
All Paimon knows is that it's dangerous. Best we put it away for now. Okay, we've got it. Now let's get out of here. I'll keep this close. May the Animo God protect you, stranger. I am Amber, outrider for the Knights of Favonius. You don't look like citizens of Mondstadt. Explain yourselves. We're not looking for trouble. That's what all the troublemakers say. Doesn't sound like a local name to me. And this mascot, what's the deal with it? I mean, we've only been traveling partners for two months, but... We've already become the very best of friends. So to sum it up, you're traveling partners, right? Well, look, there's been a large dragon sighted around Mondstadt recently. Best you get inside the city as soon as possible. It's not far from here. I'll escort you there. Oh, aren't you out here for some other reason? I am, but not to worry. I can keep you both safe while doing that, too. Besides, I'm still not sure if I can trust you two just yet. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. Probably not something I should say as a knight. I give you my apologies, uh, strange yet respectable travelers. That sounded so fake! Do you have something against the type of language usage prescribed by the Knights of Havonius Handbook? Suspicious travelers, what are you doing in Mondstadt? He got separated from his sister during a really, really long journey. Paimon is his travel buddy, helping him to find his sister. Oh, looking for... my other stuff first, and then I can help you put up posters around the city. What exactly is it you need to finish doing first? It's simple. You'll understand in a bit.
These monsters have been getting too close to the city recently. My task this time is to clear out their camp. To it. Though I've got to say, you surprised me a little with your moves there. Thanks for the backup. How'd it feel? Now that you mention it, how is it the hilly trails ended up here? These creatures don't seem like the type to set up camps so close to cities like this. Exactly. It's more normal for them to be much further out in the wilderness. But because the dragon, Storm Terror, has been around a lot more recently, our orchards have been destroyed, and the local market has been affected as well. When the storms hit, we usually end up with at least a few injuries, so the Knights of Favonius have been tied up doing the best they can to defend the area. So these annoying creatures have been getting closer and closer to the city? Exactly. That said, clearing this camp helped make the area a little bit safer. Come with me. A responsible knight must make sure to see you to the city safely. Is this an answer from this world? What should I cook next? Oh, are you travelers from around here as well? No, we just happen to be passing by. What are you cooking? Smells good! I see. Welcome, travelers. I'm Lynn, the survival expert of the Adventurer's Guild. As you can see, I'm experimenting with some new recipes. Eat before you go. The first rule in the Wilderness Survival Guide. Picnic? Oh, Paimon just loves picnics! My travel partner here is good at cooking as well. That's okay. Let's see what you can do. You won't get a lot of chances like this to learn from a survival expert. There are some mushrooms and meat in the barrel over there. Try making a chicken mushroom skewer for me. Is it done? Mmm. <coughs> smells good. Let me try. Mmm. 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 Uh, uh oh. 
The seasoning is just right. Tastes pretty good. Paimon told you so. With your culinary skills, you should try more difficult dishes. Oh, I've got some raw ingredients in my bag. Have them in return for this meal. Can we really have them? Won't you run out of ingredients? That's okay. You should be able to find lots of ingredients when exploring the wilderness. Don't forget to look carefully. There's also a restaurant in Mondstadt known as Good Hunter that sells food and ingredients. Go have a look when you've got the time. Okay, thank you for the info. <gasps> hey, leave some chicken mushroom skewers for Paimon! <laughs> Mojok. E um jogo. Genshin Impact. Introduce the city of wind, dandelions, and freedom. Travelers under the protection of the Knights of Havonius, welcome to Mondstadt. Finally, no more having to camp outdoors. But the city folk don't look too cheery. Everyone's been put out of place by storm terror recently. But everything will turn out fine as long as Jean's with us. Jean? Acting Grand Master of the Knights of Favonius, Jean, Defender of Mondstadt. With Jean on our side, surely even the vicious Storm Terror will be no match for us. Before I take you guys to the Knights of Favonius headquarters, I have a present for you, Traveler. It's a reward for helping me clear out that Hillitrol camp. H hey! Why doesn't Paimon get a reward? Uh, because this reward is useless to you, Paimon. But I'll treat you to a traditional Mondstadt delicacy. Sticky honey roast. Sticky honey roast! Come with me. We'll head to the city's, uh, high ground. This used to be a bustling street, but with so many storm terror attacks recently, the usual crowds are nowhere to be seen. Except for the local tavern near the city wall over there. They haven't been affected. If anything, their business is better than ever.
know. The present I want to give you is... a wind glider. Outriders use them to ride the wind, and the people of Mondstadt love using them too. I brought you here to give it to you, so you can experience it right away. Wow, you're really excited about these wind gliders, huh? Well, that's because the wind is the heart and soul of Mondstadt. Ah. <sighs> Alrighty then, enough talk. Let's give it a whirl. It's easy to use, but you still need to pay attention to my instructions. actually got the power to go up against the dragon. Are you a new ally? <laughs> or a new storm? Storm Terror is attacking Mondstadt itself! Kaya, Traveler, you've come at the right time. We must... Hold on, Amber. Are you perhaps forgetting to introduce us? Oh, right. This is Kaya, our cavalry captain. These two are travelers from afar. From afar? Is that all we know of them? Uh, long story short... I see. Welcome to Mondstadt. Uh, though you haven't arrived at the best of times, I'm afraid. I understand the anguish of being separated from family. I'm not really sure why you're looking for the Animo God. But everyone has their secrets, right? <laughs> Relax. I won't press you for more. 
first and foremost, on behalf of the Knights of Favonius, I would like to extend our thanks to you for your help just now. Your fight to defend the city against the dragon just now was witnessed by no small number of citizens. The acting Grand Master of the Knights of Favonius is also very interested in meeting you, and formally invites you both to our headquarters. to be the Knights of Favonius headquarters. Let's head in. Jean, what's the hurry? I thought we agreed to meet them here. There have been sightings of storm terror outside the city. Once we meet, we must... Relax. I'll lend a hand when the time comes. Jean. I've brought them. <sighs> and once it was over, I brought them straight here. Monstat welcomes you, Windborn Travelers. I am Jean, acting Grand Master of the Knights of Favonius. This is Lisa, our resident librarian. <laughs> oh, are you sweeties here to help us out? <laughs> You're both so adorable. Sadly, the timing is regrettable. Storm Terror has caused quite a ruckus in the region since its recent resurgence. Simply put, Mondstadt's elemental sphere and ley lines are now akin to a yarn ball in the paws of a kitten. For a mage, it couldn't get much worse. My skin is one elemental particle away from a full-blown breakout. <sighs> if it weren't for this interference, the Knights of Favonius would have better ways to help you than just putting up missing person posters. We simply ask that you repose in Mondstadt while we help you seek out your sister. Good. In that case, we need a plan. With Storm Terror now directly attacking Mondstadt, we may have an opportunity to cut this problem off at the source. Lisa has revealed the sources of Storm Terror's power with her detection magic. Is that so? They're located in the abandoned Four Winds Temples. Storm Terror's ability to whip up these kinds of storms can be attributed to it drawing power from the temples. Our objective is to deal with three of the four temples. I trust everyone understands why we are only dealing with three. Paimon doesn't. Knights of Favonius, time is against us. 
The storm is rampant. There's no point in maintaining a defensive position. All right. We need to take initiative and act before the situation escalates. <sighs> From now on, the adventures will probably get more and more dangerous. We should... Amber, reporting for... I feel like running. Jean will be upset if she catches us lazy. Hey, oh no. Wow, it's free... We could start by going to Mondstadt's blacksmith. Blade.
why. Over there. Take your pick. Or if you need something else, I can make it on request. Wow! He does bespoke weaponry? Of course. I sell weapons, make them to order, and do refinements. All in the job description for a blacksmith. All you need is the ore. Anywhere. Everywhere. <sighs> you look confused. Listen, I'll tell you where the nearest deposits are. Bring some back and I'll help you forge what you need. No need. I have other things to do. He seems like a short-tempered guy. Was it something we said? What do you want? Oh, yes. I'd forgotten about that. These are okay, I guess. Should be able to salvage something from them. If you ever find ore in the future, you can always come and see me. Ideally, when I'm not busy. A blacksmith's work takes focus and concentration. It does not take small talk with customers. When the craft is good, business is good. That's all there is to this trade, and anyone who tells you different is trying to con you. Now, if there's nothing else, I'll carry on with my work. Certainly committed to his work, Paimon will give him that. His temper isn't great, but leave it to him and he'll be able to forge what you need.
This is it. One of the deserted temples of the Four Winds. These temples have been left to waste for years now. The people of Mondstadt almost never come here. There's a chance there's a monster nest or hillatrol camp inside. <sighs> Even Storm Terror has given up on its own temple. Yes. I also find it hard to accept, but... Storm Terror was once one of the Four Winds. Huh? Wait! Did you just feel that? The wind here. Something's off. Let's go in and take a look. Be careful. The dragon's power is disturbing this area. You can use that console to open the door. Wow, I can see so far into the temple. Those explosive barrels over there? Well, one shot should be able to blow them up.
It's so high. Seems like there's something up there. But how do we get across? <gasps> Isn't this a pyro monument? If we hit it with a powerful pyro attack, we might trigger it. Dragon's breath! Is that where the power's coming from? Great, let's smash it! Phew, I'm tired. But at least this way we've helped Jean out. In the past, we were at least able to defend the city and keep it safe. This, of course, is mostly thanks to Jean. But now with Storm Terror directly attacking the city itself, the winds change, so too should our tactics. It's what Lisa likes to say. Speaking of which, the four winds we were discussing earlier? If you want to learn more about our history, you can ask Lisa. I'm not saying I don't know our history, it's just... I mean, a librarian is supposed to be more knowledgeable than an outrider, right? those consolidated wind things. Let's head back to the Statue of the Seven at Windrise and offer it to the gods. Well, you should come with me. It's a Statue of the Seven! Let's make an offering and see if the gods respond.
Is this an answer from this world? You've arrived. Come closer. Can you smell that? Something must have happened in the temple. I imagine there will be slimes, hilly churls, and whatever's giving Storm Terror extra power. Oh, yes. It is going to be lively in there indeed. Oh, oh. You're quite the brave one, aren't you? It's a pity that the Temple of the Wolf has been disturbed by such an atrocity. Let's head in. No one makes offerings to the Four Winds anymore. Yet the old winds never vanish. We need to clear out the temples. For the Four Winds. Let me show you how the Knights of Favonius conquer our adversaries. Hmm. If I'm not mistaken, the end of the temple should be up there. Wait, how do you know? <laughs> Experience. The kind of experience you get after years of dealing with things like this for others. Unless I'm mistaken, you don't seem to have a vision. So how exactly is it that you're able to channel elemental energy? It was a very strange occurrence. Seems the path ends here. 
Let's use the wind currents to fly up. Idea. That's some keen observation. We should get Jean to give you a title and make you a knight. Of, did you know? Storm Terror was once one of the Four Winds. I'm not aware of the exact details. If you're interested, you can ask the Acting Grand Master about it. Storm Terror is using to gain its power? Seems probable. Let's deal with it. Bravo. What a performance. You are, to my surprise, a well-trained knight. The battles you just fought were sights to behold. <laughs> I see you already have the knightly virtue of modesty. Stories of your heroic deeds to save Mondstadt from destruction shall be known throughout the City of Freedom, well into the future. Please do visit me at our headquarters when you have the time. I also know a lovely tavern, if that's more your thing. Quite rewarding, no? We've seized another temple from Storm Terror's grasp! I can take care of the rest here. You go take care of other things while I'm at it. See you later then, bye-bye! There's no way hilly turtles organize an ambush like this themselves. Not with their limited mental capacity. <laughs> Thus you were behind this. Knights of Aphonius, always so inefficient. Agree to disagree, but your involvement in this just made things a whole lot more interesting. Keep this close.
Is this an answer from this world? Is this an answer from this world? Hey, cutie. You're going to help me out, too? How kind of you. Don't hesitate to come to me if you need anything. Hmm. Good question. Well, because Jean trusts me. So you should as well.
I guess I could give this a go. I knew it. There is a strong elemental energy coming from deep within this temple. Paimon, are you able to float across? Can't do much even if she... Let's ride this wind current, shall we? to me. Come a little closer. It's an electro monument. No one? There. Let me try to activate it with a bit of electro power. Stand back, sweeties. When it comes to wet enemies, I've got them covered. Oh, another wind current. Let's ride it up from here. Frozen in time. can be set off between electrocharged opponents. The electrical discharge caused by friction is only a little less shocking than... Oh, you want to know about this gem? You're kidding. You're seriously asking? This is a vision. 
It's used by the Chosen to draw on elemental powers. In terms of mysticism, I suppose you could call it a magical lightning rod. You've never seen a vision? Just where exactly are you from? Are you a hilly churl with some level of reasonable intelligence? No, I doubt it. After all, hilly churls aren't exactly known for their smarts. And you, you'd more or less qualify to be a magister's apprentice. Break it, and we can head home and relax. <sighs> the thought of putting my feet up and relaxing has me all fired up. Dragon of the East, Lion of the South, Wolf of the North, Falcon of the West. They are the four winds of Mondstadt, affiliated with Barbados, the god of Animo. The Dragon of the East, Storm Terror, its real name is Dvalin. Though most in Mondstadt seem to have forgotten that in all this storm terror business. So now you know why Dvalin is only able to channel three of the four winds' power. Because it has been consuming itself from the beginning. Because of hatred, I presume. Hatred? Hatred for Mondstadt. Hatred drove it to become something more powerful than the wind itself. To become storm terror. But why would one of the Four Winds hate the city it was supposed to protect? Uh... As a child of Mondstadt, it's something that's really hard to say aloud. Here, take this. It's a very old story from more than a century ago. going on about should hopefully be back to normal. Want to go back and see how the knights are doing? But if you got anything more interesting to do, Paimon can come too. By the way, we obtained another animunculus in one of the Four Winds temples, right? We might come across more of them in the future, so don't forget to offer them to the statues. <laughs>
you feel the blessings of the seven? In Mondstadt, people call them animoculi. They can be fitted into the statue's eyes. A reward on the road. They're waving to you. Let's go and see what she wants. Welcome to the Adventurers Guild. Actually, I have had my eye on you for a long time. You've had your eye on him, eh? Has she been causing some mischief? Oh, that is not what I meant at all. Being on the lookout for great adventurers is part of my job. When I look at you, I see one with the potential to rival the great adventurers of legends. Paimon sees it too. Paimon always feels safe adventuring with him. Nevertheless, to the adventurer, experience is far more precious than potential. You must accumulate adventurer experience to increase your adventure rank. Time is of the essence. Allow me to brief you on... Wait, are you saying we're like official adventurers now? Do not worry. The Adventurers Guild does not charge a membership fee or impose any kind of duties on its members. In short, there are lots of benefits but no drawbacks to becoming a member. Basically, the Adventurers Guild rewards you every time your adventure rank increases. Here is a new member's gift for you. You will need to return here to claim rewards in the future. Without further ado, please allow me to officially welcome you, our new avid adventurer, into the guild. Here is your adventurer handbook. A new member coming aboard is a momentous occasion. A little ceremony is only fair. It has a record of available commissions and rewards. And it is also proof of your membership. 
Oh, and one more thing. Sometimes you will find yourself stuck at a certain adventure rank. When this happens, you need to perform some impressive feats to gain further recognition from the guild. Impressive feats? Sounds like hazing to me. They are simply specific adventures that allow you to ascend to the next adventure rank on completion. Ascension adventures, if you will. But that will come later. Opportunities to win recognition will come as you gain more adventure experience. That will do for today. We will have plenty of chances to meet again in the future. Ad Astra Abyssosk, adventurer. With effort, you shall reach the stars and conquer the abyss. Take your pick. You'll find no second-rate items at Wagner's.
this is bad. Such a hassle. Oh, thank the Thousand Winds. Your arrival must be the grace of the gods. If I may ask, envoy sent by the Animo God to save this mere mortal, could you spare a moment? Ew, cut it out. I cannot let my peers hear about this. I cannot seek help from anyone else but you. Please, let us move to somewhere more fit for such conversations. Let's talk in the courtyard, just outside headquarters. Come with me. What's with the sneakiness? This place will do. Tell us what it's about already. How should I begin? Oh, right. Let me tell you a secret first. It's a secret of my past, and I confide in you to keep it. Don't worry. Paimon's lips are sealed. As a matter of fact, my grandfather was a pirate. Wait, why do you sound so blithe? Do you think I'm making it up? Look at my eye patch. I inherited it from my grandfather, and this is solid proof that we are related by blood. Yesterday, I was glancing through the notes my grandfather left and stumbled upon records that spoke of a treasure. Treasure? According to his notes, the treasure is buried in the lost Arcadian ruins. Treasure. But the location of the ruins is currently unknown. I've tried searching for clues. Treasure! Kaya, what kind of treasure is it? Gold? Or better yet, gems? <laughs> treasures that consist of nothing but gold and gems are third-rate treasures. My grandfather's treasure? is a sword. A magic sword that grants the wielder unrivaled power. Oh, wow! The sword was dropped from Celestia into the sea by a god. It was later salvaged by my grandfather's crew by pure coincidence. The moment he gripped the sword, thunder roared, billows howled, and the clear skies were suddenly swallowed by raging winds. With the might of the magic sword, my grandfather went on to defeat a hydra, a silver-haired banshee, a wicked abyss dragon. But the immense power of the sword enticed many more greedy pirates. To avoid meaningless conflicts, my grandfather hid the magic sword. These incredibly thrilling adventures are romances that could only be told by pirates. Holy moly! That's just insane! A gang of treasure hoarders has been very active lately, and many ruins have had their relics stolen by them. I'm afraid that they will soon discover the Arcadian ruins, and the magic sword will be lost. We won't let it fall into the wrong hands! We must get the sword before them! You just rest assured that we are here to help! Wow. Great! Please keep it a secret. I'll wait for your good news. Hey, so what you think? Isn't it exciting? We're talking about a super duper powerful sword. Well, let's go to the Adventurers Guild and see if we can find out more. The adventurers should know more about the ruins, right?
Hey, kiddo! Welcome to the Adventurer's Guild! Hmm. We're not here for something that boring. We're looking for a sword that fell from Celestia. One that can kill eight-headed banshees and silver-haired hydras. It's super mega uber powerful. It's fine as long as Paimon doesn't tell them the treasure's location. So, Cyrus, do you know where the lost Arcadian ruins are supposed to be? Arcadian ruins? Never heard of them. Thanks for your intel anyway. If you do find these ruins, I'd love to see them. Uh, my intel? Still no clues. Well, it's not like it's gonna be easy. Come on, it's the hiding place of the super amazing sword. Anyway, we should go meet up with Gaia first. Oh, you're back. Do you have news for me? Listen, we asked around the Adventures Guild and found... Well... Nothing. <laughs> that much is expected. Why is that? Oh, I only mean that... What's the fun in finding it without the hard work? However, I do have some clues. I sent someone to collate black market intel. It seems that someone does know about the Arcadian ruins. Really? Where's the guy? Now, now, as per the Black Market's rules, they will send someone to meet us to prevent leaks. We will be meeting the informant at the Whispering Woods. Then what are we waiting here for? That's right. You read my mind. I am a knight, so I shouldn't have any dealings with the Black Market. You have my thanks. Of course, you'll be compensated for your troubles by the knights. Ooh, no problemo. of soft white topped with a generous serving of un Paimon's made up it's an emergency we must order ourselves a generous serving of fisherman's toast from good hunter pronto it's on you of course it's so delish good hunters fisherman's t this might surprise you but it's actually a classic monstat recipe that anyone can cook you can try cooking it yourself if you have the ingredients can your cooking skills surpass that of good hunters? Why, Paima would love to be your personal taster. Don't you let me down.
Why is this happening to me? I shouldn't have helped him. Him who? Thanks so much for saving me. You're far more reliable than those Favonius guys. It's nothing. He's a traveler. He has to deal with stuff like this all the time. Traveler? I've heard stories about you. I didn't think I'd be saved by the one I'm here to meet. Oh, so you're the... <laughs> I didn't know how I could pay you back initially, but now I think I'll just give you the intel for free. People in our circle know how important the network is. Lucky? But it's lucky for Kaya, isn't it? He's supposed to pay for the intel. Listen well, then. The intel on the Arcadian ruins. Three six-armed giants reside in the city in the lake. Two guard the statue, one the treasure. Right. W wait, is that it? There's also this map that came with it. Could this be the X first the spot? So the clue is more like a riddle. Well, should be a piece of cake for you, right? I'm gonna lead you to it then. Well, if you can't solve it, we can ask Kaya. He seems like a nerd too. I'll leave you the intel so you can review it at any time. Thanks, Vile. Three six-armed giants reside in the city in the lake. Two guard the statue, one the treasure. What does that mean? If you don't want to ask Kaya, you better figure it out. She doesn't love him at all. The passion rushing through the clear spring is just a front. When she's cold and alone, her true heart is revealed. There's another map! More riddles? Paimon's dizzy already! Oh no! Paimon used up all her brain juice! Paimon will let you have all the fun! Or you could get Kaya to help!
Is this an answer from this world? Keep this close.
blade. Statue of the Seven seems to be affected by a monster nearby. Defeating that monster might remove the strange wind current seal thingy around the Statue of the Seven.
Bullets appear! Frostbite. You're in for a little shock. <laughs> The mysteries have all been solved. It sure took a lot of work. But in all fairness, this treasure map really is terrible. It looks like it was drawn by a pirate. So, now... You read my mind! Don't want anyone else to get there before we do. Like, like the treasure hoarders Gaia told us about. Anyways, Paimon just wants to borrow the sword to. Uh, no, you are nothing. Paimon, uh. Paimon just wants to see it. <laughs> Definitely not to become super mega powerful and do nothing but play. <laughs> Alright, Paimon will save the chit chat for later. Arcadian treasure hunt? Here we go!
This must be the Arcadian ruins. Is it just me? Or does it look plain? Oh, Paimon gets it. The perfect disguise is always in plain sight. Kaya's grandpa sure is impressive. Oh, mice! Uh, it's no time to get suspicious. We're close. Hurry, the treasure is waiting for us. Disappear! Urine for a little shock. Surrender and I'll be gentle.
<laughs> Don't be such a brute. Hit. I'll save you the trouble. How about you let me take over? Sharp eye, but too slow. I'm Izzard. I thank you both on behalf of the treasure hoarders. Ah. We've been keeping a low profile. How did word get out? Hmm. Paimon won't let you have the treasure without a fight. You would be wise not to underestimate us. My gang is just outside waiting for my order. However, they're not as uh, sociable as me. I'm sorry to rain on your parade. But your gang won't be participating in your current plan. If you'd like to ask why, you can go see them in Mondstadt Prison. Or perhaps you'd prefer to join them permanently. The Knights. Hey, it's Kaya! Kaya, he wants to steal your treasure! Get him! Ugh, almost had it. Oh, you mean the treasure? Sorry. But there wasn't any treasure to begin with. You came all the way for nothing. Just give it up. What? No treasure? Did Kaya just say there isn't any treasure? Ha! <laughs> it got me good. Didn't think the knights would resort to such tactics. A thief has no right to criticize the methods of the knights of Fav Wait. What are you? You're not gonna get me. Okay. Oh God. Whoa. What is this? I didn't mean it. <laughs> what a troublemaker. You, Knight. You're not gonna watch me die, are you? Hmm. What an interesting suggestion. Fine. I I'll confess and go quietly. Please, just help me. All right, then. Guess I will have to do some overtime work after all. Come a little closer. You're in for a little shock. Come a little closer. Yeah. 
Don't be such a brute. <laughs> Looks like I got carried away. How embarrassing, having my life saved by a knight. Don't forget what you promised, or that thing will be the least of your worries. Hey, is this how the Knights of Favonius treats the people they catch? <laughs> I'm just joking. All right, let's take him back. Sir, yes sir. Uh, Captain, should we take these two in as well? Uh, what? <laughs> of course not. They are the ones who made this arrest possible. Without them spreading our fabricated intel, we wouldn't have been able to catch the treasure hoarders. All right, all right, stop it already. Though the treasure doesn't exist, you did want it for yourself, didn't you? Otherwise, you would have informed me of your intentions, no? That... well... uh... Hmm. Let's go! Hyman's done talking to him! <laughs> Just a sec. You did help me out, so you do deserve a reward. This? is the triumphant Harbinger of Dawn that points towards victory. As its name suggests, it symbolizes light and victory. If you don't mind, I would like to present you with this Harbinger of Dawn as a reward. Harbinger of Dawn? That's right. It suits a well-cultured and disciplined person such as yourself. Wouldn't you say, Paimon? If the reward is this Harbinger of Dawn... You'd forgive me, right? I'm honored to have such an understanding friend. Yes, yes. You have my apologies for the deception. I will not use the same method twice. What a wonderful day. Now, I have to go interrogate my suspect. Please excuse me. Do come visit me at our headquarters when you have the chance.
Company. Ancient alchemy truly is fascinating.
Today's recommendation Traveler, I've been looking for you everywhere. How's that wind glider I gave you last time? <laughs> Seems like it's really growing on you. But then again, you don't have a gliding license, do you? A gliding license? Hmm, what's that? <sighs> Isn't it obvious? You gotta have a gliding license to legally glide in Mondstadt. Oh. We've been gliding for ages now. This is the first we've heard about it. Yeah, you've been gliding all over the place. Everyone's noticed. <laughs> so, you came looking for us because you want to give us a gliding license? No way. The Knights of Favonius have strict rules. You need to pass an exam, and only then will the Knights issue your license. Today, I'm here as an examiner to oversee your official gliding exam. I gave you your wing glider, so this is my responsibility. At least that's what acting Grandmaster Jean would say. An exam? <sighs> what a pain in the butt. Then again, since Amber is the examiner... I'm sure you'll glide through it. I mean, the whole city saw how well you flew the day that Storm Terror attacked, so I'm sure you'll have no problems. But... We do need to respect the rules and glide properly. Here, take this gliding manual. No need to memorize it. Just be familiar with everything in there. For example, only one person per wing glider. No carrying anything over the set weight limit. No taking off using an animal slime, and so on and so forth. 
Anyway, be sure to read it, okay? I had to read a load of big, thick books, too, when Lisa was teaching me magic. Wow, that's a big old book! Paimon thinks we best get started. Great, come find me when you're done. I'll be at Windrise. <sighs> the Knights of Favonius Gliding Manual does not sound like a fun read. When the first wisp of wind brushed across the land, birds that yearned for the sky had wings, but no way to fly. They asked the animal god, how can we reach the heavens? To which the animal god replied, you have yet to find that which is most important. As the god spoke, the wind thrust the seeds of a dandelion high into the sky. The birds thrust out their wings, but the breeze was all too mild, leaving them to stumble across the earth. So they went to the gorge, where the wind showed off its wild and incomparable strength. They threw themselves off the cliff and flapped their wings amongst the howling winds until they were able to fly freely in the sky. To the animal god they went to gleefully say, We understand now. All we needed was a stronger wind to fly. In reply, the animal god said, What you lacked was not wind, but courage. It is courage that has allowed you to become the first flying birds of this world. But is the knight's gliding manual really written in that style? Huh. Anyway, let's go find Amber.
Great, you're here. Did you have a good read through of the gliding manual? Got all the rules down? Sounds like it was a real drag. I would know, I've been there. Oh, the gliding manual is super dry. I couldn't get into it at all. <gasps> Don't tell Jean, though. Really? Hmm. Paimon thought there were some pretty cool stories in the gliding manual. Cool stories? Oh, you must mean the example cases in the appendix. Some of them I like. My favorite one is about the illegal animal slime takeoff. Apparently, if you pop an animo slime and take off in the burst of wind, it shoots you up really, really high. I really want to try it. No, not that story. Paimon meant the one with the little bird who wanted to learn to fly. Uh... what? Let me take a look. Oh, shoot. This is the storybook I used to read as a kid. Oops, sorry. I put both books in the same pile and must have grabbed the wrong one when I was leaving. How in the heck do you confuse a bedtime story with an instruction manual? Uh, uh, this is so embarrassing. It's because, maybe deep down inside, that fairy tale is the thing that truly taught me how to glide. What you lacked was not wind. It's courage that's allowed you to become the first flying birds of this world. Reading that gave me the courage to glide, to become an outrider, and to become the gliding champion of Mondstadt. Uh, but anyway, let's get back to the exam. Don't be nervous. Just glide like you're used to. Okay then, you just need to follow the marked route to the finish. You gotta focus on your technique when you're gliding. If you wanna try again... Cool, you'll make it this time. Tio. Telefon am făcut. Aha! Poți, vezi? Bine, eu văd în urmă. 
Da 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 da. Am jucat pe telefon si vreau sa-l joc Ca te-am terminat Vreau sa-l joc cu altor Interesant Dar tu ce nu-l doar? Da, ce sa 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 nu-l doar? Cinam? I'm all set up. Let's get the same deal as before. Glide through the markers and get... Profil. Opa. Okay. 
Ce-i sexy? Bă, dar m-am uitat azi pe YouTube-ule la gen la stream-uri de ăștia mici cu donații sau donații pe YouTube-ul la mea 